Father, in the name of Jesus, touch this man. Fall upon him, Lord, and may he know that he's been saved and born again. Thank you, Jesus. Among the Christians who have been flocking in recent years to healing sessions such as this, slain in the spirit is the expression used for this phenomenon. There it is. Thank you, Jesus. We've both been saved and born again. Thank you, Lord Jesus. This meeting in northern New South Wales is organised by a group of young people, the True Vine Christian community. Move upon him, and Lord. The healer is a guest from New Zealand, Trevor Scott. That's it. Father, it's the boy with leukaemia, dear God. Father, touch this whole family. Lord, the father, his wife, and his son. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Father, flower Such dramatic manifestations, speaking in tongues and prophecy are others, recall similar acts described in the Bible. And the charismatic movement, as it is called, is spreading rapidly in many Christian churches. But it remains strongest among the born-again groups who started it. They prefer the more biblical term, Pentecostal. Such Father, temporary trance Lord. states are apparently harmless, Father, may no and they are certainly not faked. In, your spirit, in healing, too, there have sometimes been remarkable Thank apparent Jesus. successes. Thank you, Lord. Father, is this... Mm, man's father. So fast are the Pentecostals Father, expanding father, that the Assemblies of God, the group father, to which the True Vine community is linked, are opening a new church somewhere in Australia every week. Lord, I thank you for forgiving his sin and setting him free. In Jesus' name. The True Vine community is centred on Mullumbimby, near Byron Bay. Being young, they speak the language of youth, music. Don't waste no further time, find the truth of life today. And turn on to Jesus, he's the light, the truth, the way. Jesus, the Son of God. At the centre of the True Vine community Jesus, is Les Hansen, who started it seven years ago after experiencing a dramatic vision of Jesus. Today, it has about 300 members, many of whom are single mothers. Almost everyone in the community has come out of the alternative culture on the north coast. It's Jesus that we are presenting. We're not presenting a, a hotshot lead guitarist or a, or a, a slick drummer or, or anything like that. What we want to do is we want to present Jesus. And so we, we become less while Jesus becomes more. Jesus! I didn't necessarily start out to start a community. I just started out to preach Jesus from the Bible, and before I knew it, there were 300 people who'd found Jesus, and we had a, a great big community. It's, it's like the beginning for me. It's, um, the, I know that the relationship that I can have with God is just beginning. Jesus has been so real to me for the last seven years, and I know that I could never live any other way but in total commitment to him. of enthusiasm, one has to go back to the days of the early Methodists, more than 200 years ago. The tambourines are a borrowing from the Salvation Army. The strongly positive music and atmosphere is typical of Pentecostal meetings everywhere in Australia.
some reason, I just called out in the name of Jesus. I didn't think of Jesus in my head, but I called out in that name. And the minute I called out in that name, a tremendous peace flooded my soul, flooded my mind. A tremendous light, even a luminescence seemed to explode around me. There was an instant um, dispelling of these forces of darkness. And I could sense the power of God. I could sense like a liquid light pouring through me. And I knew it was the baptism of fire that Jesus had spoken about. He said that, that I will baptize you with the Holy Ghost and with fire. And God really came into my life and baptized me with his power and with his love. And it was such a tremendous experience that I immediately knew that I had to get out of the drug scene. I got rid of it all. I ran away from a private girls' school and, and tried to find an idealistic way of living. And, well, that led me into drugs, that led me into smoking dope, into dropping acid. And by the time I was 16, I was a heroin addict. And um, I was really in bondage. I started out um, the, occasional, the occasional taste, the occasional buzz, but, but I was addicted. And from 16 to 20, my life just went downhill in such a radical way, in such a radically quick way. And by the time I was 20, I was, I was just a gutter snipe, what I call a gutter snipe. I had nothing, nothing. I had no place to live. I had nothing to my name. I certainly had, had um, no friends or any help, you know. And all my ideals had just gone down the drain. I didn't have anything to live for but, but heroin. And then the Lord intervened in my life in a very real way and um, I went to a Christian rehabilitation farm now I didn't want to come off heroin I didn't want to change my way at all but the Lord touched my heart and I made my way at all but the Lord touched my heart and I made Jesus Lord of my life I made him Lord of my life and from that time on my life changed my life changed for the better and Jesus started to restore me and make me whole he started to restore to me all the things I'd lost all the things that had gone down the drain, you know. And finally the Lord brought me to True Vine, where I could commit my life to Jesus. What I really wanted to do, I wanted to commit my life to him. And, um, and now, since I've done that, he has restored to me everything I've lost. <laughs> of new members is done in a stream, much as Jesus was baptized by John the Baptist. The Bible records how the first apostles received the gift of speaking in tongues at the feast of the Pentecost. And many Pentecostals believe that this same gift, or something akin to it, has been given to them. Australia with my parents. I grew up in Sydney and um, I was actually on my way up to Queensland to live on another alternative community up there and I thought I'd drop off and just visit them here and when I arrived I was, I was just a mess. <laughs> I'd had, I had two children and I 
I was just trying to keep a family together and I couldn't do it. And I was just a real mess and um, I came up here to stay for a couple of days and a few people that are still here now just started sharing with me one night, the day before I was due to go actually, and they started telling me about the real Jesus and, um, and who he really was and what he had done for me. And I'd never heard the gospel said like that before. And I thought I knew who Jesus was because, because as I said before, I was brought up a Catholic. <laughs> Christian, I think we've found the real problem, which is sin in men's hearts. And rather than putting a band-aid on the problem and trying to change the environment, Jesus came to just solve that basic question. And once that problem is solved, everything else writes itself. And of course, I've seen that in our community. I look at the lives of people coming in, people on dope, even people from institutions that uh, have just gone right over. And once they find Jesus and that sin problem is solved, everything in their life comes right. People who couldn't work start working. People who can't relate, who are fearful about things, overcome their fears. And, um, and the Lord transforms them just into new beings. Trevor Scott is a big event for the True Vine community and for the occasion they have hired the town hall at nearby Mawillam Bar. For two nights local residents flocked to these meetings. Touch him. The power of the Spirit of God. Thank you Jesus. Father, touch this world by your Spirit right now. Thank you Jesus. What's the condition? Just shut your eyes. I'm just going to pray for you in the name of Jesus and just relax. And let the very presence of God come down upon you. Look up. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Let's walk down here. How's your ear? Clear. <laughs> Ten years. And it's clear. You're absolutely sure. <laughs> Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, I pray you would touch this spine, Father. Lord, touch the nerves, the bone, and the very tissue, Lord. Father, as I would lay my hands upon this woman, Lord, in the name of Jesus, I loose it from you, heal, and set her free in Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Father, right now, just bless this woman. Blessed be the name of the Lord. My God. Man and wife, hang on to each other. And for it. Father, in the name of Jesus, touch this man and his wife. Bind them together, Father. Lord, may they know, Father, that you consecrated a marriage. Lord, that you can keep it. Lord, that you can make the difference in Jesus' name. Father, 
In Jesus' name. Father, in Jesus' name. 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 Oh, in Jesus' name. Oh, dear Lord. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Father, touch this young woman. Father, I thank you. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Shut your eyes, Father. In Jesus' name. There it is. Thank you, Jesus.